Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem from R.C. Hebeler Mechanics of Materials 8 edition. According to this problem, the uniform B is supported by two rods A, B, and C, D that have cross sectional area of 10 mm square and 15 mm square, respectively. We have to determine the intensity of distributed load, which is represented by W. So that the average normal stress in each rod does not exceed 300 kPa. Now to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw the free body diagram. So I have the tensile forces due to the, these two rods in the upward direction. Also I have to find the resultant of this triangular distributed loading. So we know that for the resultant of this triangular distributed loading, I have to find the area of this triangle, which would be 1 upon 2, the base, which is 6, and the height, which is W. So from here, the resultant of this triangular distributed loading comes out to be 3 times W. And for the location, the location would be one third of base from thicker end. This is the thicker end of the triangle. So location would be one third of base which is 6. It means 2 meter from thicker end. So if I draw the resultant force of this distributed loading, then it would look something like this. So this is the FR and it is at a distance of 2 meters from the thicker end. So let's label them. Let's call this F A B and this right here is F. CD. To find the values of FAB and FCD, we can use the equilibrium equations. So our first equation would be summation of moments at point A equals to 0. I am considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of the FAB force is passing through the point A, so the FAB force does not have any moment arm with respect to the point A. So it will not produce any moment about point A which is serving as a pivot point. The FR force is trying to rotate the beam in clockwise direction about point A, so the moment produced by the FR force will be taken as negative. And the moment arm is this distance, which is actually 4 meters. The FCD is trying to rotate the beam in counterclockwise direction about point A, so the moment produced by the FCD force will be taken as positive. And the moment arm is 6 meters equals to 0. If I substitute the values, then I have negative FR, which is 3 times of W into 4 plus FCD into 6 equals to 0. So from here, FCD comes out to be 2 times of W. Let's call this equation 1. Now for the FAB force, we can do summation of forces in Y direction equals to 0. I am considering the up direction as positive. FAB minus FR plus FCD equals to 0. And when I substitute the values, I would have FAB minus FR, which is 3 times of W, plus FCD, which is 2 times of W, equals to 0. So from here, FAB comes out to be W. Let's call this equation 2. So now we have two equations, which are in terms of W. So for intensities of distributed load,
we know that we have been given a condition that the normal stress in either of the rods should not exceed 300 kilopascals for member cd the average normal stress cd is equals to fcd over the cross sectional area acd equals to fcd is 2 times of w and we have been given the cross sectional area for the cd member it is 15 mm square for the rod cd and we know that 1 mm square is equals to 1 raised to the power of negative 6 meter square so the cross sectional area would become 15 exponent negative 6 meter square and we know that the average normal stress should not exceed the 300 kilopascal so we are considering the maximum value of it so let's say it is 300 kilopascals so exponent 3 so from here 2w is equals to 300 exponent 3 times 15 exponent negative 6 so upon simplification w comes out to be 2.25 newtons per meter let's call this equation a now for member a b we have to do the same so the average normal stress a b is equals to f a b over the cross sectional area AB is equals to FAB is W over the cross sectional area of the rod AB, which is 10 millimeters square. And if I convert it into the meter square by this relation, then it would be 10 raised to the power of negative 6 is equals to 300 kilopascals. Because the average normal stress can have the maximum value of 300 kilopascals. So from here, W is equals to 300 exponent 3 multiplied by 10 into 10 to the power of negative 6. So W comes out to be 3 newtons per meter. Let's call this equation B. Now we have two different values of W. So we have to figure it out which one is the correct value that will satisfy our average normal stress condition as well. So case one, if W is three newtons per meter, so the average normal stress in the rod AB would be just 300 exponent three pascals. which is which falls under the given limit because the maximum average normal stress should not exceed the 300 kilopascals so it is under the limit but what about the average normal stress in the rod cd which is fcd over the cross sectional area acd fcd is 2 times of w so 2 into and w we have assumed as 3 so 2 times 3 divided by the cross sectional area of the rod cd which is 15 exponent negative 6 so from here when we simplify it so the average normal stress comes out to be 400 exponent 3 pascals which is actually 400 kilopascals and it is greater than the maximum limit of the average normal stress which is 300 kilopascals. So the average normal stress in the member CD is exceeding the limit. So it means W is not 3 newtons per meter. So we have only one option left 
which is that the W is 2.25 newtons per meter. And that is the correct answer. But let us just verify it as well mathematically. So if I consider the case 2, which is if W is 2.25 newtons per meter, So the average normal stress in the member CD is just going to be 300 exponent 3 pascals, which is 300 kilopascals actually, and it is under the given maximum limit of the average normal stress, which is 300 kilopascals, and the average normal stress in the member AB would be FAB over the cross-sectional area AB and FAB is W and W we have considered as 2.25 let me write it here as well under the limit all right and the cross-sectional area of the rod AB is 10 into 10 to the power of negative 6 meters square So from here, average normal stress in the member AB comes out to be 225 exponent 3 pascals or 225 kilopascals, which is less than the maximum allowable average normal stress, which is 300 kilopascals. So it is also under the limit. So W is 2.25 newtons per meter because it is satisfying the average normal stress values in both of the rods that has to be maximum up to 300 kilopascals. So this is our answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.